Chess friends, our today's game is very special and rare because we have Alpha Zero in the white pieces, who sacrificed his queen against the 30,000 ELO rated Archer Queen. We cannot solve problems with the kind of thinking we employed when we came up with them, let's get started, Alpha opened the game with d4, we have knight f6 knight f3 and e6 which is called knight's variation of Indian defense. Black can respond with these moves which are the main lines, Alpha played g3 Indian game, so after couple of moves later we have c5 e3 e6 f4 pawn exchanges. These center pawns are not well structured so Alpha should move up the pawn after completing the knight and rook development, so after few moves later, Alpha 0 pushed the d-pawn, he is targeting to the pawn, his tactic is to play knight d4 to counter the e-pawn with the queen and bishop threat at the same time, so e5 and b3, here Alpha 0 builds his another strategy, he want to play knight h4 f5 to target the bishop, bishop g4 is a logical move to x reign to the d7 bishop with knight. Play knight e4 then f4 to open up the file which is a necessary, if black takes the pawn then push the d-pawn confidently, because white will then have many attacking pieces, so castle which is why he played knight e1, his new strategy is to play f5 immediately, and put the knights in the center. Learn as if you will live forever, live like you will die tomorrow, so we have rook e1 knight c2 a5, this a5 move clearly saying that archer queen want to play knight c5 to support e4 square, so f4, knight c5 center exchanges knight e2, the knights want to jump in the fifth rank to support the pawn to move, bishop back knight b5 bishop a6 d6, alpha want to play knight f5 and he is targeting to the rook, knight c7 is a threat to fork the rooks, bishop a3 is a reasonable choice to consider. Here if you play like your own style, saving the rook first, then knight c7 will arrive to trap the rook, you will lose your best friend rook anyway, so back to the position, archer queen shot the knight with her arrow, takes bishop backs bishop g2, alpha 0 want to play bishop a3 to eliminate the knight, and split the pawn's friendship, so queen b8 knight d5, sacrificing the d-pawn, queen can't take the pawn because of knight takes knight check, you have to take it with the pawn. Then after doing queen exchanges you will lose your f-pawn, so if you dare to capture it with bishop, then alpha 0 will sacrifice, the rook, takes knight takes check, king run away queen h5, knight takes check is coming and if you are a 2100 elo rated player then you will be checkmated in 8 to 10 moves, so 2500 elo rated player might consider of playing bishop e6, then bishop c6 will arrive, rook c8 queen h6 check, king ups knight d5 check, bishop takes knight bishop g5 check. The bishop will cut the king like crisscross apple sows, and it will be a checkmate. If you are working on something that you really care about, you don't have to be pushed. The vision pulls you, so back to the position, Archer Queen is a stockfish subscriber so she knows how to defend her position perfectly, this is coming so she played bishop e6, here you can pause the video and try to figure out the brilliant move for alpha 0, alpha 0 needs your help, go, 1 2 3, Ok if you find d7 then you are absolutely right, this pawn can be taken with two pieces but none of can do it, knight takes knight would lose the knight on d7 with queen takes d7. So in this position if you play bishop takes pawn, then bishop takes check will simply lose your rook, think like stockfish, otherwise you will be a joker in chess like Gothamchis or Agadmater, we have rook d8 bishop, go f5, if you dare to play f6, let me show you the variation, hoping to kick out the bishop, then alpha 0 will break your ego with rook takes f6, sacrificing a rook just for a pawn, even I think, if I sacrifice my all pieces against you, I can checkmate you with my king. Takes takes and queen g4 check is coming, king f7, then rook f1 will bring strom in your king position, some of 69 IQ brain people might think of playing bishop takes queen, sacrificing the king, this is the reason why human level chess is under my feet, so rook takes d7 can be played in the game, knight takes e6, after queen takes rook, the king position will be dead lost for you, so in this position, levy might consider of playing bishop g7, to go in danger level, but after doing pieces exchanges I will play queen d5, to target the knight in front of his king, king ups then we will move back the bishop, rook f1 is a threat to checkmate the king, queen here rook f1 check, and it will be a checkmate in a few moves by promoting into a new queen. It is better to fail in originality than to succeed in imitation, 
So back to the position, archer queen takes the pawn with rook, bishop takes e6, and what the heck is this? Alpha Zero sacrificed his queen, this is a mind-blowing game, rook takes d1, and look at the position, archer queen has a queen but his pieces are so passive, we have rook to f5 to target the pawn, alpha zero want to win up the queen by playing rook d8 check, here you can't play simple moves like moving a pawn for time pass, white will dominate your position, so here, if you dare to play knight d7 to protect it, then bishop e7 will arrive to do bishop exchanges, two moves later. Placing the bishop in white's structure will create a strong outpost, resulting in a favorable position with a plus 2 advantage, so back to the position, we have queen c7, rook takes e5, sacrificing the rook, takes rook d8 check, takes takes and white is completely winning here, because he have three pawns in the queen's side with bishop pair. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.